Hey guys, Casey here with vantripping.com and I'm in Mountain Bluebird right now. And I'll show you a little uh, device that I put in uh, mini uh, when I build out my van. Um, I didn't want to have to like crawl under the van to undo, uh, to open up a valve, a ball valve or anything to empty my gray tank or have to like, uh, you know, do the same inside anywhere. Um, I just want it to be pretty automatic. And all times it happens when you're driving down some remote highway and you're like, you know what, this is a great spot to dump the, uh, the water from washing my hands um, this morning. Right, or you happen to be parked over a, a, a drain, a, a, a drain, great, you know, a storm drain on the on a site on a street, and just so happens it's like a great spot just to be able to go and and empty your your gray tank, or you just have to pull up to some other spot where you can just simply hit a valve. Sometimes state parks have these uh, these different uh, uh, spots where you can do that, where you can drive right over and literally just like you know. The most RVers, they pull the hose and all stuff and, and it kind of drains into a drain, but I can drive over it and literally hit a switch. So this is how I do it, all right? I literally can reach back right here. It was intentionally designed that way where I have a set of switches right here. I hit the switch, boom, the valve opens. A few seconds later, all the, the water starts draining out and, um, and that's it, it's that simple. I reach back, I close the valve, and it closes off that that drain. So when I don't want that water dripping out uh, somewhere, it's easy to, to manage all from just simply reaching back right here from the driver's seat to a switch. So let me show you a little bit more about this and how this works. So right back here, um, as you can see, I've got right here uh, a, a, a switch labeled dump valve. All you do is hit that. Um, this right here is also my my water uh, monitor, um, uh, tank monitor. And then what I have right here um, is a holding tank alarm. Um, so this actually gets triggered um, when that water level gets high. So just it'll light up and that's all. Um, so just so I know. So that's it. So let me show you um, what it's like when I go dump my valve. Okay, so here we are. Um, this right here is my gray tank just behind the rear axle uh, in front of where the spare tire was, which is now my auxiliary fuel tank. I have another video on that. Um, and I talk about how just wonderful it is to have an auxiliary fuel tank and be able to have more than double the range um, of the factory range, fuel range, it's fantastic. Um, but this is my uh, remote control valve. It's a simple 12 volt DC uh, stainless steel ball valve. Um, this one that I've installed here happens to have also a manual override control. So I can also manually open in a control for some reason, uh, something doesn't work, but it's held up great. I've had this, um, uh, the valve in there now is actually my second one. The first one was in there for about four years. Um, I just replaced it and in part because I pressure wash my bando and I clean it and I think some water got in there. It's not entirely waterproof. And so I'd be a little more careful and I do, um, uh, pressure wash it, but it's held up over the years quite well, even driving through water as you know deep as the, the bumpers. Um, and uh, anyways, um, it's fantastic. Let me show you now when I flip the switch, what happens? Well, I guess you have to have some water in there. Well, it turns out I don't have enough water in there. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I have enough. There we go. See that? <laughs> Isn't that cool? All it's just flipping a switch. Now I'm gonna go turn that switch off. There we go. Valve's closing. Now it's closed water stops flowing. See, isn't that great? So simple. Um, these are only about 30 to $40. So very, very reasonable. All right. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, definitely subscribe. I'll keep sharing more. Let me know what else you'd like to, any uh, information on questions and I'll help you out.